Hi, I'm Ant Joblin and welcome to IP Go, the show where we take a look at the IPO world, past, present and future. At the start of the year, we covered a Chinese company called Luckin Coffee, who IPO'd on the Nasdaq in June 2019 and whose share price had doubled within six months, from $20 to over $40. However, last week news broke that the company was involved in fraudulent accounting practices, so it's only fair that we review the situation and look at the company's outlook. Luckin Coffee, founded in 2017, considers itself a pioneer of a new technology-driven retail online offline model that is built upon its mobile and store networks. Not only did the firm raise $561 million in its IPO, but in January, Luckin sold 4.8 million shares of stock in a secondary stock offering at $42 a share, raising over $380 million in new capital. The recent allegations made by the company itself were that the chief operating officer had fabricated much of its reported sales in 2019. Luckin also said that certain expenses were substantially inflated and advised that investors shouldn't rely on financial statements for the nine months ended September 30th. As of yet, they have not released their fourth quarter results, but the fraud may amount to 2.2 billion yuan or $310 million in total. Wow! Shares were down as much as 75% in the immediate aftermath and are now trading around the $5 mark. Former COO Lu Jian and several of his staff have been suspended pending an internal investigation, Luckin said in an SEC filing last week. On Sunday, the company issued a statement on Weibo stating that they retain the right to take legal measures against those suspected to be involved and that they will not shield or be lenient towards them. Set against a backdrop of the COVID-19 tensions between the US and China, this is a remarkable development, and investors will wonder whether the fraud was only discovered due to the recent plunge in global markets. After all, it was only in the carnage of 2008 that major frauds like Bernie Madoff were discovered. This revelation hasn't come out of nowhere, however. Muddy Waters Research, famous for targeting fraudulent Chinese companies listed on US exchanges, published a critical report of the company in January, describing it as a fraudulent and fundamentally broken business. Doubtlessly, investors will speculate that the COO was offered up as a sacrificial lamb to the market to offset against future action. Auditing procedures will certainly come into focus. Leaders from the SEC and the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board have noted that US regulators are prevented from inspecting audit work and practices of firms in China. They have called for more cooperation from China, but to no avail. What happens from here is anybody's guess, but for this coffee house, I guess their luck just ran out. As always, make sure you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. See you next time.